Good morning. I'm Jan Carabeo with your morning digital news brief for Thursday, June 29th. A retired U.S. Marine is killed, not overseas, but back here at home during a robbery. Family members tell CBS 3 that 46 year old Howard White was trying to stop a bar robbery when he was shot near 5th and Spencer Streets. Police say the suspect broke into a nearby home where a father and son wrestled the gun away from the suspect and held that suspect there for police. Part of President Trump's travel ban is expected to take effect today following this week's, this week's ruling by the Supreme Court. People from six predominantly Muslim countries will be denied entry into the U.S. unless they have a connection to the country through family, business, or university. And to kick off Welcome America celebrations, today is Wawa Hoagie Day. Sandwiches will be given out from a six-ton hoagie made up of half turkey and half Italian meats. You can get one at noon at the Constitution Center and the Independence Visitors Center. Now to the eyewitness weather forecast with meteorologist Katie Fillinger. Hi, Katie. Hey there, Jan. Some pickles, some light mayo. Sign me up. Yes. Oh, love a good Wawa hoagie. All right. Well, we do have some summer-like conditions for sure here for your upcoming holiday weekend, and the humidity begins to climb with time as well. Today, those dew points are ever so slightly higher, but it's nothing compared to how steamy it's about to feel. Let's take you out there and look at the comfort index just for the next couple of days. Today, again, it's not too bad. It's a little bit more oppressive than it was yesterday. But you want to press it. Look ahead to the upcoming weekend, Saturday and Sunday, all looking very, very steamy. And actually, tomorrow does too. So let's walk you through this. Today, it, the, really the only variables that are much different are the fact that it's turning a lot breezier. And we're also going to have, uh, again, those dew points creeping up a little bit. It's also warmer, up to 88 degrees compared to yesterday's low 80s. Later on tonight, we drop down to 71. It's time, I think, to turn the air conditioner back on, folks. If you were able to go, forgo it for the last two nights, it was so comfortable. Take a look several days straight into the low 90s. Come Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, we keep the upper 80s where we should be. But along the way, some scattered showers with thunderstorms, although still, Jan, I would say if you've got outdoor plans, as so many of us do for the holiday weekend, I think generally speaking, you can keep them. All right, good news. Thank you, Katie. And remember, you can always get Katie's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for this morning's Digital News Brief. I'm Jan Carabeo. Have a great day.